Oh my god, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Hello everyone, welcome to The Gong Show, an indie games showcase in game show format streamed live weekly on Twitch, then chopped up all sushi style for you right here on YouTube for you to be the ultimate judge. Live chat votes whether a game is awesome and should be a winner or whether a game gets gonged and we move on to the next one. Then here on YouTube, you get to decide the ultimate winner by placing your vote in the comments section or in a poll on the community tab to declare the ultimate gong show winner. Huzzah! Really, if you leave this show with a burning desire to play a new game, I consider that a job well done. First up this week, we've got Anton Ball Deluxe a retro, high-octane smorgasbord of ball-busting arcade action from developer Summit Sphere. This game takes traditional brick-breaking arcade-type gameplay and mashes it up with tight, intense platforming, and it's not easy. Twitch chat appreciated the retro arcade sound effects, commenting on the uniqueness of playing a brick breaker on its side, and loved the old-school platformer slash brick breaker mashup. It should be noted that the levels scale in difficulty pretty quickly and you can't travel through platforms, but the balls can, making this game even tougher. But all of the retro nostalgia and interesting power-ups gave Anton Ball Deluxe a solid gong show win. And we have our first Twitch gong show winner of the day. Also, by the time this video goes up on YouTube, Anton Ball Deluxe will have launched on Steam. Yay, congrats on the launch. Next up is Voidigo, launched February 25th and developed by Semiworks Studios. Voidigo is a very colorful and chaotic roguelite built around challenging and dynamic boss battles. In Voidigo, you blow baddies to pieces with a wide array of wacky weapons and gather power-ups to stomp out the void, all while chasing mega bosses through different parts of the map and using the moments when they flee to hunt for new weapons and power-ups. Ah, get the- Oh no, what is that? Oh man, it just got real, y'all. Did he just make a backup noise while he was backing up? There are things that are simply hilarious to me about this game. There's a wide variety of different landscapes that we saw even in our short playthrough from deserts, caves, underwater, and more. And I super enjoyed that every weapon felt different, both in its strategy and recoil. In the tutorial, dude. And I have these stupid little bone arrows that don't do anything. Chat liked the main character design, the complex controls, and the fact that the bosses can and do break the environment. While some people felt the tutorial realm was a little slow and the explosion of pink visuals was a bit much, overall, once Void Ego got going, it couldn't be stopped, earning itself a gong show win. Oh, there it is. Next up, one of the weirdest games ever featured on the gong show, and really that I've ever played in my entire life, a game called Puss by Team Coil. Now this one was released in 2018, but only recently came onto my radar and looked too strange to pass up. So in this game, you move a small retro cat head through a series of tight mazes via click and drag mouse controls, all while being subjected to some seriously freaky feline fantasies. Is it saying ew? Duchamp. Duchamp. Or nightmares, I'm not really sure. Chat was incredibly divided on this one, with some loving the LSD cat demon nightmare fuel and stating this was the best game they'd ever seen, and others being wildly turned off by the difficulty of the mouse mazes and off-putting sound effects when you die. Oh wow! That's like, really fast! This game just got so much more difficult. Junior RPS says, I feel like it should have a this is your brain on drugs statement at the beginning. <laughs> I like it lots though! Uh, the cat kind of stresses me out, says Israel K. As Sharon says, I don't like the sound it makes when you hit the wall. The live chat vote bar went back and forth quite a bit with no ultimate decision either way, meaning Puss was given an honorary gong show gong. And so we are giving this very, very weird psychedelic cat game an honorary gong. Taking things from a cat acid trip to the nightmare fuel of the corporate life, we then checked out a game called The Company Man, which is set to release in May of this year. Get ready to battle the corporate machine in this 2D action adventure where you can hit your crazy co-workers with keyboard buster sword looking weapons and shoot your evil bosses with emails. 
survive the struggles of working life and fulfill your lifelong quest to become CEO. With social commentary out the wazoo, a killer soundtrack, and fantastic character animations, this game had us eager to punch our time cards to the corporate overlords. The customer service. I'll show you. Pull that lever. The animations are really fun in this. Chat loved the premise, the humor, and the plethora of free office coffee to get you back to max health. All while giving us a good laugh at some of our own less than stellar job situations of yesteryear. The company man from developer Forest was an easy gong show win. Oh! And luckily is a game round game, meaning that you can play test it yourself. Game Round is a free platform that lets you playtest early builds of indie games and win prizes and such in the process. I'll put the link in the comments if that's your jam. Finally, we checked out Healing Spree, a one to four player cacophony of co-op action where you try your darndest to diagnose, treat, and save patients despite everything falling apart around you. Think overcooked, but a hospital. Too many patients, accidental colleague murder, and hilarious in-game physics make this one a streamer's gem. I brought in my nephew Max to help me out with this one to get the full scope of the co-op action. Thanks, Max. Oh, you put the lady in it. Bring her to the bed. You can throw patients with up? Can you throw her in the bed? Not off the edge! <laughs> Max. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Max, you are pure I chaos. Maybe I should take that thank you back. Seriously though, the inclusion of lightsabers, flamethrowers, guns, and swords in a time management hospital sim provides for some very funny moments. So we need at least 102. Oh my God, <laughs> what? <laughs> I killed you. Hold on, I'll save you, it's fine. First of all, nope, you can't. I just fully died. Second of all, you chose the gun over the lightsabers? Purple. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Take that. <laughs> Healing Spree was a quick gong show winner, and chat predicted we'd see this on many a streamer schedule soon enough. Oh man, and already we have a Twitch gong show winner in Healing Spree. Healing Spree dropped sometime Q2 2021 from developer Paro. Now it's time for you to decide the ultimate gong show winner for the week. Will it be Anton Ball Deluxe, Voidigo, Puss, the Company Man or Healing Spree? Leave your vote in the comments and I will put up a poll in the community tab as well. Good luck to all our devs and happy gaming everyone.